Vampire legends have been around since the beginning of time and are told by cultures around the world. However, it wasn't until the early 20th century that a scholarly book was written that took the topic seriously as an area of academic study. The Vampire in Lore and Legend is a 1929 book by Montague Summers that delves into the historical and cultural aspects of vampire mythology. Summers was an English author and clergyman known for his scholarly work on the supernatural, particularly on witches, werewolves, and vampires. Montague Summers was a controversial figure in his time. He was an eccentric clergyman of the Anglican Church, though he claimed to be a Roman Catholic priest, and his status as such has been a subject of debate. Summers had a strong interest in the occult and the supernatural, which is reflected in his writings. His works include The History of Witchcraft and Demonology, 1926, The Geography of Witchcraft, 1927, and The Werewolf, 1933, among others. He was known for his detailed and somewhat credulous accounts of supernatural phenomena, often treating legends and folklore as historical facts. Summers claimed to believe in the literal existence of supernatural forces like vampires and witches, though some speculate his stance was intentionally provocative. In The Vampire in Lore and Legend, Montague Summers provides an in-depth look at the vampire myth, tracing its origins and various manifestations across different cultures. He collects a vast array of historical accounts, folklore, and literature, presenting them with a blend of scholarly analysis and personal belief in the supernatural. Summer's book is often noted for its Victorian-style prose and its comprehensive survey of vampire legends from ancient to modern times. The book was originally titled The Vampire in Europe, a critical edition but was reprinted with the current better-known title. Further confusing the matter, Summers also wrote The Vampire, His Kith and Kin, a critical edition in 1928 which was simply retitled The Vampires in later reprintings. This was then reprinted again with the alternate title The Vampires and Vampirism. Both books are similar and repeat some of the same material. Because scholars frequently mix up the various works and editions, citations to the books are frequently erroneous and confusing. The book is broken down into several sections, each exploring a different facet of vampire mythology. Summers examines historical records and folklore to trace the evolution of vampire legends, from ancient civilizations to the vampire panics of Europe. This includes ancient beliefs about supernatural blood-drinking demons, vampires in Greek and Roman mythology, and Slavic and Eastern European vampire folklore. The book discusses how different cultures have interpreted and integrated the concept of the vampire into their own myths and folklore. Summers looks at the portrayal of vampires in literature, from early stories to the more romanticized versions in modern times, such as Bram Stoker's Dracula and John Polidori's The Vampire. As a man of religion, Summers also explores the theological implications of vampire beliefs and how they intersect with Christian doctrine. This includes Summers' theories on the occult origins of vampires. The author recounts famous cases of supposed vampires and mass hysteria, sometimes delving into trial records and eyewitness accounts. He also details forensic and medical explanations for vampire myths. The various methods believed to protect against vampires or to rid a community of them are also outlined including staking, decapitation, and the use of garlic and holy symbols. Throughout, Summers relies heavily on earlier vampire texts and tales of supposed real-world encounters. The book includes descriptions of numerous vampire cases and anecdotes from across Europe. Montague Summers' approach to the subject of vampires is both exhaustive and somewhat credulous. His deep dive into the subject is scholarly, yet he often refrains from skepticism, presenting legends as if they were factual occurrences. This has led to criticism from those who view his work as too uncritical, but it has also established him as a unique voice that provides a comprehensive repository of vampire-related lore. His writing style, which is dense and gothic, can be challenging for modern readers, but it also adds to the atmospheric quality of the subject matter. Summers does not shy away from drawing connections between the folklore of vampires and real historical events, suggesting a belief in the literal existence of such creatures. It brings together vampire myths from diverse cultures in a scholarly analysis. The author's passion for his subject makes The Vampire in Lore and Legend an engaging read for those interested in vampires in myth and literature. The Vampire in Lore and Legend has had a significant impact on both the scholarly study of myth and the popular understanding of vampires. Summer's work has influenced both writers and enthusiasts of the supernatural contributing to the ongoing fascination with vampires in popular culture.
It remains a frequently cited text in studies of vampirism and has been a valuable resource for authors, filmmakers, and academics interested in the historical and cultural dimensions of these legendary creatures. Montague Summers' The Vampire in Lore and Legend stands as a significant work that bridges the gap between academic research and the public's enduring interest in the supernatural. Its influence can be seen in the sustained popularity of vampire myths and in the ongoing scholarly discourse on the intersection of myth, history, and culture. As one of the first in-depth academic examinations of vampires, the vampire in lore and legend helped establish vampires as a serious subject for scholarship and research. Though controversial, it increased interest and debate around the occult and paranormal. The book's lengthy cataloging of vampire folklore also provided inspiration for many later fictional works about vampires. It remains a foundational text for the study of vampires and helped shape popular imagination of vampires as seductive, mysterious creatures of the night. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. This will allow us to make more videos.